What's up, everybody? Polius here with my musician friend Edward. Say hi, Ed. Hey, what's up? Hi. <laughs> we are playing a musically inclined game called Tadpole Treble. For those of you who don't know, this was created by um, Matthew Taranto of Brawl in the Family fame uh, as he ended his uh, fantastic and amazing comic, which will be in the a link will be in the description. Brawl in the Family. The, the premise behind the game, and as you can hear the music, it, it will feature, and see in the, the design, it will feature mm. prominently, is music is often iconic in a game, right, Edward? Very true, yeah. It's, it's usually very prominent. It's what sets the atmosphere, the ambience. Well, what if it also was the level? You know, however you want to imagine it, it's fine with me. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get started. It, and I mean that literally. Sorry about that, just adjusting that. So, as I understand, the art is done by Taranto himself, as is the music. pound. You can do it, child! Break out of that egg! Just one. Just one at a time. <laughs> Just one at a time. Wait your turn. Oh. Blech. What's going on? Oh. Oh. That's my girl. So I that dodged those. those. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's, that's cute. Grab those. Oh. So I failed. It's okay. So I need... Okay, I get it now. Those. So. Smack the... Oh, smack what? The, the the bamboo, the sticks. Oh, I see. So I press yeah. A to do that. Those. I see. So what? And the thing about having Edward here is that we can. Oh. I guess get things. In terms While of I'm rhythm. focusing on the. Uh, on the, the gameplay, he could talk about what the music is doing. Well, depends how intricate we want it, but. Well. Yeah, uh. I'm actually very curious how they outline the gameplay. I mean, it seems like I just have to be so hyper focused, at least that's me. <laughs> Let me see. So, what was that cash food thing? Oops. So, I'm actually really bad at these types of rhythm games. No, I think that you're you're still okay. Yeah. I'm decent. Uh, cause I tend to get my eyes tend to get lost in the noise. Fortunately, it's pretty clear right away what all you need to do, what you need to avoid. Piano interlude, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you go and talk? Cause Edward has yeah. his own channel. Um, fly into Ed's also will be linked in the description. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you talk about the kind of music you do while we're playing this? Um. Well. For the most part, a lot of things I do is just a mix of genres. I mean, mainly it's jazz, but most of it deals with um, going into stride, 1914, it could be 1930s as well, 1940s, and going further. But it's usually a, a mix mash of several genres, because I'm also highly addicted to hip-hop influences in terms of backbeat. So, you know, I'm, I, I tend to be flexible. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You know, if you can put it to uh, Arkham Horror gameplay, then you probably will want it. Oh. Right? Yeah, definitely. But I am i am definitely all about offbeats and unusual syncopations. Generally, one and three don't agree with me, but it depends on the, the song or tune, of course. So. Wait, Baton, that's too far! <laughs> that's too far! You're not my real dad! <laughs> You're just a frog that thinks we look alike! <laughs> You know, it, it's Sorry, that of... went to a dark place. Oh, yeah. Well, it, oh, it, I... it's somewhat eerie at the oh. moment. Oh, I see. It's slowly... Uh... Uh-oh. That was a cute ending. No, it was a horrifying ending. What are you talking about? Well, it, it was slowly like... Th th there was actually a decrescendo. There was a bit of a retard on. It was slowing down a bit, if you uh, heard okay. it slowly. It was just interesting. I and think. then I was eaten by a bird. You know... Is that, that, what, is... Is that what happens? I'm uh... just saying it's fitting. <laughs> is that what happens? Uh, crescendo? Om <laughs> <laughs> um, nom? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yep. I mean, I'd be sad too, Baton. Baton. Baton Rouge. Mm. The show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I see. <laughs> so that's the beat then, right? As it's going. Dump, yeah. Dump. Makes sense. Yeah. Right. All right. Mountain stream. Well. I mean, music relates a lot to our even physical maneuvers. Right. I mean, a lot of dances 
work in that in that manner, right? Absolutely. Okay, so let's see how badly I did. Um, that nah, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Select a stage and help uh, uh, Baton to get. Hmm. Uh, this is energetic. I feel like I'm pronouncing her name wrong. Oh. <laughs> baton, Baton. Baton. It's my accent. I swear. No, that's fine. <laughs> right. Well. I find it amusing. <laughs> let's go ahead and do another level. That was only. Uh, that wasn't too long. That wasn't too bad. Ooh. This this sounds like a dance of the sugar plum fairy almost to start. Yeah, someone in the introduction. Oh, I, lo oh. I love me some brass. It kind of fits. Uh, I don't want to be cliche about it, but it, you know, it's kind of cliche Wild West. A little bit. I don't know how else to describe it. Well, it it's that same kind of folksy music. Folksy, exactly. Well, actually, the, the the last track we're listening to was pretty folksy as well. It just had different influences. Oh yeah. Oh, I missed that it's, one. It's the most blue notes. Okay, so this time it's sending me underneath when I hit those. I did it. I find this utterly confusing. Just just watching it. I, ah, I don't know. fish. Ooh. Yeah, that's oh, all. Oh, and then arpeggiation's nice. Alright. The what? It was arpeggiations, basically in a broken chord. So if it was three notes, mm -hmm. and you played one note individually, uh, up and down, that's basically arpeggiating. Okay. I hope I'm describing that better, but, you know. I mean, you're the expert. It sounds like it makes sense well, to me. <laughs> It's it, it's much easier to explain it when you're actually performing it live. Oh, you know? like you can point to something and be like, that is arpeggiation. Yeah. Well, I mean, even by listening, I can pick this out. Oh, there we go. Uh, ah, that Clint Eastwood, uh, good, the bad, and the ugly reference. I see that. Oh, uh, the. Uh, yeah, there we go. Mm. Treble charge. What it's, is what is a treble charge? It's I'm, hot. Just, I'm looking at the top of my. Uh, treble charge. <laughs> I'm looking at the top bar now. Who knows? But in this situation, um. You might have to deal with uh, an opposing gunslinger. Oh, Ooh, bear. Bear. That's a... Uh... I barely survived that, Edward. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. I'll go to my corner oh, now. Man. Treble charge. Oh, no. It could be a... Uh... Oh, I smacked him. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. There was something down there. Hey, I'm glowy. It would seem you're on fire. <laughs> Captain, treble charged, fully powered. <laughs> the treble is fully operational. Oh, I, I didn't even notice the life bar. Well, yeah, me neither. Yeah. I can't be doing that badly then. Oh. No, you're not. Actually, in... <laughs> I did not end strong there. Hey. Hey, B. Hey, it's above there average. There we go. Yeah. Hey, what do you know? Hey, that wasn't bad. So. These are nice short levels. This is this is a pretty breezy game. So this is so the first level was uh, trout tributary. This one is turtle pipes. Turtle, turtle pipes. Turtles but I think I think two levels per video would be good. So let's go ahead and call it here for now. That'll be the first video. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. This has been Polius and Eds, and we've been playing Tadpole Trouble. See you later. <laughs>